Hello there, and welcome back to Great Britain. Last time we, uh, well, we finished up our war with Austria, which resulted in a uh, kind of embarrassing loss, really. Uh, it was mostly due to the fact that I have completely and utterly forgot to actually fix up my armies. We are currently in the process of doing that. We're probably going to end up with uh, six 20,000 men armies, I would assume. Probably even more. No, not six. We're going to end up with uh, probably eight 20,000 men armies that will probably end up uh, sorting everything out. I'll probably have six or seven of them in Europe, depending on what happens. I'll probably use the others as a combined mercenary or regular force to, well, keep the islands at bay. I think I can actually dis, uh, disband the mercenaries here. Uh, the islands have been caught, so there's no reason I'm having them, which will, of course, give me even more money. But uh, that's not the point here. We are going to uh, we are going to actually help Mex English Mexico has actually taken down some attack on their own, which is good. But uh, all in all, what we are going to do is also use armies to conquer... Ottawa, for instance, other, other of the uh, American uh, or Native Americans to put them in under well, the uh, the colonial nations. I believe I'm not missing anyone. No, I actually have every single colonial nation except for La Plata, and the one that's probably here. No, that yeah, there's one colonial nation here too, and probably one or two on this side. I can't, I honestly can't remember, but uh, we'll figure that out fairly soon. Anyways, what we are going to do this episode is mostly just boring stuff. We're going to rebuild our armies, we're going to annex some of our vassals. And if we uh, have time for it, or if I here manage to do things, we are going after Sweden for two purposes. We want the Norwegian provinces, and we also want the Danish provinces, uh, more or less, uh, ASAP. Dan the Danes actually have, uh, I believe, four provinces. Yeah, four calls that we can take. Unfortunately, Gotland. I think I can actually take Gotland too. I believe, yeah, it's actually part of Denmark. Or well, was a part of Denmark. Uh, I want to see if there's anything else I can take. But uh, I do doubt that. Yeah, nothing else. The problem, of course, with this is that I have to fight the. Uh, I have to fight the. Uh, the Poles. And it should actually be quite easily looking at the fact that they are scattered. To turn and I screw them over, I can actually vassalize, no, not vassalize, I'll align myself with Teutons and thus screw them over even more. But I don't think we're going to do that. What we are going to do is just wait right now and uh, get the annexations done. We will not be taking the last two defensive ideas, I don't think there's any use for them. I might take them if we end up with uh, another war with Austria, but for now I think we'll focus on military attack and uh, get ahead of Austria, get better units and then hopefully kick them down once we reach level, uh, level 19. We'll have to see. On that, we will be investing most of the diplomacy points into, I think, the diplomatic, idea, the diplomatic ideas here. Especially up to diplomatic reputation if we want to have a lot of uh, vassals, so that we, won't, uh, we won't waste too much time with... Uh... Oh! So now you, you come crawling back, you traitorous cur. Do I want to ally you? No. You screwed me over, you said that you didn't want an, an allyship. So no, we're not going to be allied. You are a... Uh... You are a pest, and I'm going to take vengeance on you. Brutal vengeance, I'm going to get... Do they, have actually... Do they actually have some vassals? Yeah, they have Augsburg. I'm hopefully going to be able to break Austria apart. I, I think it will be possible, especially once I get my military up and running. Now that France has actually been annexed, I can really start making uh, making things work here. As you can see, we actually have 94,000 men in our army. That is going to grow pretty damn significantly. The only thing that's really... Uh, Stopping me right now is manpower, but we are definitely going to uh, to grow, as I said, the army. So I'm going to take 2,000 cavalry back to Europe, and we're going to bring, uh, well, 6,000 cannons with us. So I'll just get them going. I'll keep on building my uh, my uh, units here, and hopefully we'll be ready for war again soon. There we go. We have taken uh, supply trains here, which is... No, I take I oh god damn it. I managed uh, I managed to screw up. I didn't think it through. I was not going to take supply trains, but apparently I did anyway. So we get reinforced B plus here three percent. Could be useful, but not right now. What I want to take was claim fabrication, which gives minus fifty percent. Well, time to fabricate a claim, but uh, we also get naval attrition minus twenty five percent. Could be useful with my uh, navies, and also embargo efficiency by plus three percent. What I'm going to do, I think, is actually try and screw over Austria a little bit extra here. By first and foremost, we are going to rival them. They're really going to feel my wrath here, and then we're going to embargo them. They don't actually make that much money from trade, I would presume. They do have most of Vienna under their control, so they are earning quite a bit from there. Venice is... I'm very tempted to actually send a motion to Venice. That will then forward money to... Uh... No, Venice is an end node. That wouldn't work well. 
Well, I could actually just send an emissary to a, uh, a guy to Venice and take as much money as possible there. I would have to build up my navy though, which is uh, probably something that I'll do. Uh, judging by that fact that I actually have quite a bit of left here, I think I'm going to upgrade three of all three of my uh, uh, transport navies here, or defender navies, with uh, some more ships. We're going to make all of them uh, add 15 ships to each of them, so they will all be 40. But uh, as I said, I'll get this done, and then uh, we'll see what we'll do once uh, everyone has been annexed and once everything has been uh, set in order. Well, this is also a secondary problem with having uh, several colonial nations. Colonial border conflicts, signed, but to begin, it seems like the settlers from English Colombia has ventured into Kamana, a province of English Guiana, in search of new land and resources. English Guiana then sent their militia to drive them out, but they got over settlers and pursued the settlers back into Caracas, raiding and burning. The conflict then escalated when English Colombia sent their militia to drive out the English Guiana militia and carry out raids of their own in Kumana. The governor of English Guiana, Jacob Budham, is playing the governor of English Colombia, ne Nehemiah Cumberland, and vice versa. How do we solve this without losing face? We cannot always let them sort it out itself, we can remove one of them, but as you can see here, you uh, kind of screw yourself over a liberty desire, or we can sort out the difference and sacrifice a little bit of diplomatic power. And uh, in this case, we do have quite a bit of prestige, and, well, judging by the boost we get from that, um. Especially with the yellow activity boost, I think we actually need that. We will sort out the differences and screw them over. This could also potentially become a problem with the Antilles and the English West Indies. They might kill each other, to to put it blank here. I have no idea how I have not or how I do not know what this isle is. It's actually part of the Antilles, I think, unless Brittany has done something stupid here, which they might have. But uh, we'll, we'll we'll wait and figure it out. My armies here are being. Uh, well, reforged, so to speak. We are slowly but surely making uh, making that happen. I can uh, take action or turn a blind eye. I guess we'll take action. It's just five years, so it's not actually a problem. Anyways, I'll uh, keep on with the build project, and hopefully we'll be ready soon. Well, we can spend some admin points here, 800 of them, to be perfectly honest, on admin tech 15. And I think we actually have to here. There's not much else I can do with that. I could always build something. I do have quite a bit of money, but uh, I've gone extensively into colonizing right now, so that will probably change uh, quite a lot. I'm currently using 41 ducats a month on keeping colonies up, and I'm actually setting up another one uh, down here. So, colonial wise, we are going to be losing quite a bit of money. I have extensively set up that up. I have six now, there will be seven that will be running simultaneously. So, army wise, we'll also, I think, just put together a one or two 20k armies by whatever the ones that we are annexing now currently have of, uh, of forces. So that should be fine too, I won't be adding... Uh, I don't think I'll be building any more troops uh, myself, at least for the time being. Also, as you can see, the annexation is almost done. Granada will be joining my, uh, my empire here right about now. So that's fine. Of course, there's another negative pro thing about this. Granada, they actually have Catholics, so that's great. Uh, but that wasn't really the negative point, so the uh, legitimacy losses from the annexations will be horrible. There is no better way of putting it. It will be horrible. And this, as I said, there's no good way of putting it. It's it's tremendously horrible no matter how you look at it. So apparently the Duce uh, or Netherlands have actually managed to take back one of the provinces of Gellera. So what we're going to do then instead is actually vassalize East Frisia or at least start on the process of vassalizing East Frisia, and the reason for that is fairly simple. East Frisia has, as far as I know, quite a bit of cores still, unless they've actually lost them. Yeah, they have three cores here now that we can take back, and getting Netherlands back to a reasonable size is always good. I can also take, uh, prob I'll probably take Cambrai and Rethel here, myself. The, core th oh, the claim that I have to the province is soon to end, but that's fine. I will create a claim on Rethel. And Leech here, I'm a little bit unsure what I want to do with them. I might actually just try and lease them myself. I might actually just uh, ruthlessly conquer them. It doesn't really matter. I will take these to myself, as I said. And also, as I said, with this, Burgundy will actually fall to Nevers, which is kind of hilarious, but uh, not really too much I could do about that. I'll probably have to guarantee Burgundy off of that just to make sure that the Netherlands doesn't actually take back all of the provinces, which wouldn't be a good thing. They have 8, they have 16, they have... Yeah, they have two more to me to actually be vassalized them by four cider. So my best bet here will uh, definitely be East Frisia for uh, for a uh, a vassal here. So we are just going to improve relations because I'm pretty sure that Frisia itself will send uh, a royal marriage offer pretty soon. If not, then we'll send it later. 
For now, however, we'll uh, wait for the uh, annexation state to be completed, and uh, then we'll continue our, well, conquests. And as you can see, I'm actually losing 20 ducats a month now due to my colonies, so I'll probably stick it, stick it out around 6. We'll see what I end up at. So at this stage, I don't really need a cabinet, and judging by the fact that I'm actually starting to build quite a, uh, more or less a navy, I should probably start focusing a little bit on diplomacy attack. I do have a modifier though, naval disarmament here, that gives me uh, some negatives, so what we're going to do is actually take the cabinet even so, and I think we're actually just going to continue until we reach diplomatic influence to speed up the vassalization and annexation rates. Uh, it will actually speed them up quite, uh, quite nicely, so that will work out great. This arm is almost complete, just have to change down some horses and get three more cannons into it, and then it's uh, perfect. And other than that, uh, Bread has once again joined the, uh, the Netherlands, which is kind of good. Uh, no, kind of bad. I might have to actually go for releasing uh, Brabrand, but we'll see. Uh, I might actually also just take the province outright, but it'll be hard to vassalize the Netherlands if I do that. So as I said, I might have to go for either releasing Holland, either releasing uh, uh, Brabrand. We'll, we'll basically just have to see. For now, however, I'm still working on getting E3 as a vassal. And we'll also actually take Sardinia, because I can use them as... Uh, I can actually build up naval bases. I can... I can fabricate claims on Naples. No, I can't actually fabricate a claim on Naples. Yes, I can. No, I can't. A little bit, a little bit mud back and forth there. I can fabricate claims on Tunisia. I can go off the Pope, Tuscany. Well, this one is actually a bad example. It's just this one too. I can only go off the Ottomans. Well, it's good to have just a couple of islands that I can mess around with, I guess. I'm just finding a good reason to take them. Basically, I can peacefully vassalize them, and that is, uh, that's what, in the end, that's what it boils down to, I guess I should say. Uh, the fun thing here is, I can piece of vassalized Bar too, which is actually an elector of the Holy Roman State, Holy Roman Empire. And I kind of just want to do that as a, uh, as a screw youth Austria. But uh, I'm a little bit unsure. Since I can actually piece of vassalized Bar at, as things are standing right now, I think we're actually going to, uh, going to wait for the time being. Austria might actually lose its seat here to Saxony, which would actually be wonderful. So, uh, I think we'll have to see what we'll do with that for now, however, we'll uh, get Frisia and Crete as vassals. And I've no idea what I want to do with that last seat. I might actually go for something as easy as... Uh, no, it's Netherlands, what I'm even saying. Netherlands will take that last seat, so we have the five next vassals, and th thus, I know what I want to do. I want to make Netherlands uh, give back their, most of their calls. And we also want to... Netherlands actually lost... No, it doesn't matter, Utrecht never was a call. We're going to get the chorus here, and also the course here as part of our nation, most likely. Plus, uh, Crete doesn't actually have any calls, but they have two island nations, which is uh, which is fairly alright. But for now, we'll uh, get the last two states here vassalized, and we'll continue our colonization process. Well, uh, Hell just uh, sent me, or oh, I've no idea if Hell, the devil, anyone had any connection that way. Anyway, Austria is now in for a succession war for Hungary, I think. Yeah. I was kind of scared for a second, I was starting to wonder if, uh, well it's actually kind of bad too, if Austria gains Hungary we are all in all trouble, but Russia-Hungary is also scary, Heck, there's a lot of things here that would be hilariously scary. Um, God damn it, personal union with Russia, so I've chosen Russia for now. This will, this is actually kind of good, it's kind of good, it's not great, but it's kind of good. It means that I now have an opportunity to screw over Austria again by, that. there will definitely be wars here, that's... Uh, there's no one that's actually debating that fact, so we will do covert actions against uh, the Netherlands. We'll fabricate a claim on Gelre, and we'll use this to clear warn them. Uh, after, of course, I've asked East Frisia, which shouldn't be that far away. I can send them a gift, 25, I can offer military access. So, actually, it's about 165. So, uh, I'll just get uh, that done, and we'll probably go off the Netherlands and to some degree Austria. We'll see how it plays out. All of our vassals have been created, integrated. My bad, or... The five vassals I wanted to integrate have been integrated. And with that, now my force limits are in the 200 on both. And Norway doesn't really like me that much anymore. We have 105. I can get 50 from Imperial Relations. I can send them a gift. That should be fine. We also have the Conquest. Denmark, also fine. Have another to go, 100 to go on our Imperial Relations. So that is wonderful. Frisia didn't actually get a minus modifier due to uh, probably the Alliance when I annexed Hainet. Everyone else did, however, I think. Yeah, as so, you see, I'm actually a member of the Holy Roman Empire. So we'll get that on both Holland, on the Netherlands, and also Frisia. So I think I'll just conquer the three or four provinces here. The three, four here, yeah. And potentially potentially vassalize and annex, uh, 
my next Holstein. I'm a little bit unsure. We'll uh, we'll figure that out as we go. Mecklenburg is also, of course, uh, still a definite target. I'll probably just end up taking Mecklenburg and potentially uh, potentially just force the Hanses to release something. That could also be an idea here. I'm a little bit unsure on a uh, little bit fuzzy on details, but. Uh, for now, I think we're just going to make our troops perfectly uh, ready. And then we're going to vassalize Frisia and prepare ourselves for a war against most likely the uh, the um, either the Swedes or or uh, no, we're probably actually going to fight all three of uh, as you can see here, we have the Hansa, we have Münster and of course uh, the Netherlands. So we'll probably fight those three first, and then we're going after the Swedes. So uh, a lot of uh, a lot of things here that needs to be uh, needs to be settled. I have no idea who Minster is actually allied with. Allied with Austria. So once I actually fight uh, Netherlands here and does Austria, will probably go fairly well. Also, the fact that the Austrians are in Hungary is uh, is actually fairly good news. Army wise, I am now dominant, 166,000 men compared to 145. Also, with just 76. So. Um, I have more than twice the force. I should be able to win this pretty goddamn substantially. The only problem, of course, is that my manpower pool is... Uh, it's not at its best. It's seen better days. But uh, we'll see what we do next time. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise criticism, anything you feel like. And hopefully, I'll see you around next time. Bye.